Hi guys, it's Ropage from Horseland. Um, today I'm going to kind of show you the basics of creating a double scroll layout on Horseland. Um, you'll kind of have a layout coming out similar to mine, but we're going to actually have an image on here. So first thing you do is you want to open up your image editor, Photoshop, GIMP, um, Paint, anything you use to make your layouts with. And you want to make sure you make the width the size of your actual layout. I usually do something about a thousand pixels if I'm working with a layout with an image on it. And then I'm just going to leave it at 1080 because it doesn't really matter. Um, for pictures, I'm just going to use one I have of, that I took. So basically, I'm going to quickly set this up and I'll come back in a minute to explain more. This isn't going to be a perfect layout, just something to help give everyone an example of kind of what to do when you're making a hand-coded layout. So I'm just going to save this image. Oh, hold on a second. We're going to quickly blur the bottom of this image so I don't go insane. Okay. Alright, so my color scheme is going to be more of a green, so we want to keep that in mind and what we're doing. So I'm going to make my ropage uh, kind of this color green. You can go with about anything as long as it fits. So we're going to save our image. Okay, so I have my image saved. So now I'm going to open Notepad. Um, I also have Dreamweaver, which makes your life easier for coding. But since most of you guys probably don't have something like that, we'll use Notepad. So when you're starting off to code, you want to use your style tags. This will allow you to use CSS, which is a cascading style sheet. So you open that up with a style. Then you open it with the end style. So when you end a style or you end a tag, you have to use this little slash tool. Next, you want to do your divs. A div is like a divider. It contains your content. And yeah. So we're also going to give this an ID. Then you put equal. And then you want to name it. So you have to put your quote and the name. For the main one, I always name it a container. It's your container div, which means you're setting up your whole layout inside this div. And so you don't forget later on, let's end that one. Next, we want to put your image. So we're going to do div id equals layout. You've probably seen on Toxic Scribble how they have that this same sort of thing. And then immediately I'm going to end this div. 
basically this means my layout image is going right here and then everything else is going below it. So we're going to put our content here, so we're going to do id equals scroll1. I do a break and then I do the ending div, uh, so this cuts off our scroll1 div. So anything you want in your first scroll will go in this little section here. Next we're going to do our div id scroll2. So now we're going to have two scroll boxes. So here's your first scroll box and here's your second scroll box. Alright, so now that we have all our layout area kind of set up, we're going to go back up here and you want to start setting up what your layout is going to look like. So first you you almost always need to start off with this. It's body and then you do your first bracket signal, uh, squiggly bracket. And you do margin, colon, zero, padding, colon, zero. Basically what your margin is telling you, it's the space between different contents. So let's say the content of this div, if you have like a 10 margin to uh, 10 margin right, it'll mean between this scroll 1 box and this scroll 2 box will um, increase with that number. So the, it's the margin is the space in between different areas, like a different div. Padding is the amount of space within your div or content area. Basically it means how far from your border um, your content will be from uh, your div sectional. Next you want to do your background color and so you're gonna have to go back in whatever program you're using and you copy your hex code. It should be a six digit color thing and you have to always make sure you put this pound sign and then you put the number and you can end it. Next you need to put your container. So this is going to be what sets up your whole layout. Like I said right here, this container div will set up your whole layout. What you need to make sure you have with this whole div is margin, zero, auto. I've gotten a lot of questions on what this margin zero auto means. It basically means that it's going to send to your content completely. Next you need to make sure you put padding zero. And even though we did all this on basically on your body, it doesn't affect what you have here in your container div. And we just want to make sure everything's set perfectly for your container. The final thing you must, must, must have your container div is the width. So basically when you're messing with this, you want to go and check the width of your of your image, so your layout image here. You can right, usually on Windows you can right click and you can click on properties and it'll take you to your properties here. And you see it's 1000. You don't have to worry about this 644 in height right now. So it's a thousand pixels wide. So that's what we're going to put right here. And then you can end that. So now we have our, our layout ready to go. Next we need to put our layout thing. So we have, okay. So here's where it's going to get really, really, really tricky. After your container div, you have to remember that anything you put inside your container div must have a float left. This means all your content will be pushed to the farthest left of your um, layout. It allows you to put expandable content in your layouts. Next thing you want to do is you want to put your width. Just spelled the words right. 
our layout image is a thousand pixels wide and we also have to make sure we put the heights on it so this was 644 pixels tall and basically well hold on and then the one last part you have to make sure you do when you have a layout image you have to do background dash image and you have to put URL parenthesis apostrophe and you will put your layout image link there okay 